Hey everybody, welcome back to Toy Blocks. Today we will be having a look at the brand new G.I. Joe Classified Junkyard and Mutt 2-Pack. This 2-Pack is dropping right now and it retails for 40 bucks. And I gotta say, I love these animal 2-Packs. For a figure collector that collects 6-inch action figures, getting these animals in 112 scale roughly is really a special thing I feel like and I'm gonna buy everyone that has bro makes so I really can't wait for more these guys come in a collector friendly window display that shows the awesome amount of accessories you get let's go ahead and bust them out junkyard and mutt look really good here they come with a ton of accessories Let's go ahead and look at Mutt's hands and accessories first. Right out of the pack, he comes with two trigger finger hands, and they both hinge up and down. He comes with a right fisted hand and a baton left holding hand, and they both hinge in and out. You get a right pointing finger hand and a button pressing left hand, and they both hinge in and out. And you also get two more open palm hands. And I like to think of these as the dog petting hands. Is a good junkyard. That's a good dog. Mutt looks real awesome all over. He has a very expressive, angry face, and I like that. The colors here slap, too. I was teaming this guy up with the new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ronin Raphael figure. And that is like the green and red dream team, I feel like. Mutt comes with an M16 rifle, and it has some green paint on it, and it looks really good. But I wish the plastic on it was a little bit more stiff. I feel like it's better than the last uh, M16 we got with uh, Grunt, but... Uh, the plastic still isn't there yet. It's still a little bit soft and bendy. But I love getting the actual guns based on real guns in the G.I. Joe packs. I think that's an awesome thing. He also comes with a pistol. And I think this is a 1911. But I'm not really completely sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's something else. And he has a holster on his leg. He can put that gun into nicely. And he also comes with a nightstick baton. And he can hold that really great. I really just wish they had a little loop on his belt though. That he could just slide that down into and carry it with him all the time. He also comes with a dagger. And that dagger can be put into a sheath that's hooked onto his vest very nicely. This pack includes a mask and goggles set for Mutt. It's also in case you want to army build it and have some troops that have pet Rottweilers out there. And I think that is really badass. The mask goes right on and it fits really well. I took the head off and put the mask on from the bottom of the head. And uh... It looks a lot like Damian Wayne's mask, and that's pretty cool. And here he is with some goggles on. I really like that they fit perfectly with the mask and they just line up. They almost look like they're one piece. And finally, the signature helmet. It looks worn and it's really great. Now they also included another set of goggles with a bigger loop ring on there. And you could put those on the helmet if you wanted when he's not wearing the other set. Or you could put him on Junkyard. Now tell me that ain't the coolest dog in town. Gnarly, dude. Junkyard comes with two heads. Right out of the pack, he has a more mean, growling expression.
And his other head is a really great one. It has the tongue sticking out of the mouth. It's more of like a calm, relaxed expression. It's very beautiful. And I really love the Hasbro animal figures. If they sold these guys as singles, I would buy them. Mutt's articulation is what's to be expected from a standard G.I. Joe classified figure. The vest pretty much hinders all upper body movement, but you could always cut it off if you didn't like it. He can hold his guns well, but I do wish they had trigger finger hands that would swivel in and out because it seems like his main weapon is a rifle here, not the pistol. And with a rifle, with the in and out hands, you can really get them looking down the rifle perfectly when the hands swivel in and out like that. When they're up and down, it's more towards the pistols, I feel like. And, uh, yeah. Junkyard has good articulation, just like Timber before him. The legs have many points of articulation and the body as well. But I did have a major hard time trying to move the back legs at the knee joint. It was just crazy tight and I felt like I was close to breaking it. I had to heat the whole figure up and get it so the plastic was real gummy and then I was able to work it free. I don't know if it's from the paint drying in there or just a piece of plastic uh, changed shape and, and just uh, shrunk in size and got real tight on there after they had put it on. but. Just be very careful with those back legs. Even with the back legs being extremely tight, I didn't break them yet, and I'm glad to have this set. Like I already said, I would buy all the Animal 2 packs that ever come out from G.I. Joe or any Hasbro line. They're just too good to pass up. Here's Mutt in a lineup of other figures of the same scale, roughly. Starkiller, Outback, Heisenberg, and Spider-Man. And here's Junkyard with a few animals. We got a crocodile, a panther, the Rottweiler, and the wolf. Sounds like a movie. Overall, this is an amazing set, and you have to be careful of Junkyard's back legs, but besides that, this is a huge win. I'm probably going to get another one of these sets just to remove the vest so Vapor can have a cool dog sidekick companion. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I got a ton of videos coming up. I've been really busy the last week or two, but I'm going to make sure they keep coming out as quick as I can get them out. I got a lot of content in short form as well, so make sure you subscribe so you can get all that on your feed. And uh, drop me a comment down below, say what's up, let me know what you guys are feeling about uh, this G.I. Joe line and everything. I got a few more Joes to look at too, so thank you for watching. I will see you next time right here on Toy Blocks. Peace.